troubles around Chicago. And Roz has been tackling a pothole problem, Roz. Yeah, this is way more than one pothole, and it's been going on for months and months and months. Russell Winston reached out to me on Facebook back in September about the deteriorate deteriorated condition of an entrance ramp to the inbound Eisenhower. Here's what I found. Lexington Street east of Laramie is the frontage road on the south side of the Eisenhower Expressway. It also feeds into the entrance ramp to the inbound Ike. Deep potholes have opened up along this road for nearly a year. Last month, the city did some minor patching, but it's still a rough ride for the some 8,000 drivers who use that ramp every day. Anytime we get a pothole complaint, we, are, we have crews out there as soon as possible. And we have a pretty good turnaround time on filling a pothole. So some streets are in such bad condition, though, that they really just need a resurfacing. And then it's a question of identifying eligible dollars that can be used for that location. Just recently, the city announced a new goal of paving 300 miles of streets per year. Resurfacing is a more permanent fix than pothole patching. Within city limits, there are about 4,600 miles of streets. That includes arterial and neighborhood streets and alleys. Not all resurfacing jobs are the same when it comes to funding. Main arterials are mostly funded with federal dollars, but residential jobs like this one are paid for through local funding. And that's the problem. The city works closely with the aldermen to help program those funds, but there are many priorities and only so much money. There is a multi-year plan in place to tackle the worst 200 miles of city streets. Included this year are King Drive from Cermak to 37th, Cicero from Division to the Ike, and Lakeshore Drive from North Avenue to Grand later this summer. Lexington and Laramie, definitely on the city's radar. Another factor in scheduling all those repaving jobs is coordinating with the water department and other utilities so they're not working on top of one another. You should report any potholes you see either by calling the city's non-emergency number 311 or going on their website. And we have all of that information on our website, abc7chicago.com. We'll